Yo, what it do? Did it. Another episode of uh, Making a Beat on Fruit of Loop Studio. Uh, well, I got my setup, 808 with the limiter. That's normally what I go uh, with. Uh, I kind of been experimenting on the uh, trap, trap setup, trap beat setup. I haven't got the swing of that yet. But right now, what's going on, you see me kind of trying to find a sound that I want to work with. Like I said in the last video, that's really a huge, it's another big part of of uh, making a beat. And um, it's a big part of the progress of making a beat because you got to have the right sound. And me personally, I'm more of a tune type of beat maker. Um, once I get my tune, then I can wrap my beat around the tune. And that's kind of how I figure out my tracks. So, uh, like I say, at this moment in time, I'm basically finding out uh, the sound, and I just found something. I think, I think I got a good tar lick on this one. Now, what I'm doing right here is breaking it down to individual waves instead of having a whole loop, because I think, yeah, I have a whole loop here, but I'm like chopping the length down into one one hit so I have more control. Yeah, I have more control. I won't just be to where I'm running the whole loop because I, I really don't do the loops too much. I do uh, custom made tracks. I might take the loop and break it down to one, that one piece so I can Hit the keys and um, hit the keys and um, whatever key I want, and I kind of go from there. That's what you see me doing right now. I chopped down the loop, and now I'm actually putting it into the keys that I want them in. Uh, you could do that with almost any loop. You don't have to necessarily use uh, the whole loop. I don't believe in that really. I, well, I can't say I don't believe it, I'm sorry. I mean, that's a huge thing now, but I'm, I mostly try to make custom beats. And um, I like samples also, but uh, I'm not proficient at samples. But I understand, I understand that's a big thing nowadays, but uh, in a loop, I just take, I, I take the length, chop it down like you saw me do a second ago, and then I individually like put it in my keys that I want, and I just build my own beat from scratch. Uh, basically, I'm just taking the instrument, and uh, I kind of go in that direction. To each his own. Uh, I want to do learn how to do more of the size of sampling because it's good to know more than one thing. It's good to know how to do some of it all. Um, so uh, I will be working on that in the future. Um, but uh, for the longest I've been just creating custom made, you know, original tracks. And um, over time I get better at it. Right now you're getting the basis of it. And, at the end of this video, I'm gonna let you hear what I came up with as far as a rough draft. It's a super rough draft, stripped out. I don't, I don't really have a lot into it, but it's just kind of letting you hear the creative process of uh, what I worked on in this session right here. Right now, you see me laying out the pattern um, onto the. Uh, I guess you would call, what, what is this called? Pattern board, I guess. 
uh, I'm just stretching out from the, uh, I need to get the terminology right. Okay. Yeah, the channel rack. So I'm stretching the, what I've created on the channel rack onto the pattern uh, rack, basically. And that stretches the beat and, and gives control of the beat. And I can put the tunes where I want. I can put the actual bass, snares, hi-hats, or whatnot where I want. And um, you kind of build your beat up in this uh, session right here. And I, I really enjoy it because you never know. I never know what I'm going to come up with, you know. <laughs> never quite know. That's one of the excitements of making a track. You kind of come up with what you got, and then you build from there, and then you find out as time goes uh, what you're going to come up with and what you create. So there you go. You got my track of being played and, and pasted out and it's coming together. What we're going to do, it's going to be a, a seven minute session. And um, we'll add on here directly. But after this, I'm going to let you hear what I came up with so far. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll catch y'all next episode.